1995 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in Mint State 66 read by PCGS. According to the Cherry Picker's Guide, this well-known variety was, at one time, featured on the front page of USA Today, heightening its appeal. Doubling is strongest on Liberty and in God, although it is visible elsewhere. This specimen is lustrous and sharply struck, mentionable distractions are minimal. It ended up selling for $168 on December 13, 2023. Number 7. 1942 Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR64 by PCGS and later confirmed by CAC. According to NGC, proof sales rose about 40% over those of 1941 and would have continued their rapid climb, were it not for the interruption of World War II. This turned out to be the last year of proof coinage until 1950. The Philadelphia Mint coined some 28,000 proof quarters just to have the 21,000 offered for sale. An additional 123 appear in published figures, but these coin were reserved for a say and subsequently destroyed. The proof quarters of 1942 were well made overall, though the problem of overpolished dies left many coins with poor or missing details among the design features of lowest relief. Gems are plentiful through PF67, but examples grading higher are very rare. This PR64 specimen was sold for $216 on December 13, 2023. Number 6. Circulated, worn and tarnished 1909 SVDB scent. Graded as fine 15 by PCGS. Medium circulation rub is evident on higher points. The visual appeal is diminished because tarnish has accumulated around the lettering and device elements of the coin. It ended up selling for $1,050. Number 5. 1916 D Mercury Dime. Graded as very good 8 by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1916 D. Mercury dime is one of the most heralded key dates of 20th century numismatics. The 1916 D is rare in mint state and very rare in gem condition. The strike is usually very sharp and I'd estimated that 80% of more of the mint state survivors have fully struck crossbands. Luster is typically modest. Many examples have some degree of toning. This specimen displays massive circulation wear and numerous contact marks. But all letterings are present and readable. It was sold for $1,560 on December 12, 2023. Number 4. Here is 1945 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS-68 condition with full steps. This delectable superb gem exhibits virtually flawless surfaces. The strike is razor sharp throughout, and there is not even a single detracting abrasion. Also beautifully toned, both sides are layered in soft pastel iridescence of sandy gold, pale pink, ice blue and mint green. Simply gorgeous. The surfaces are simply incredible in their preservation and are graced by delicate pastel hues. It was sold for $2,880. Number 3. 1915 S. Buffalo Nickel. Graded as MS-65 by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, peach orange, rose, and powder blue tones grace highly lustrous and beautifully preserved surfaces. Razor-sharp design definition enhances the appeal. A thin die crack travels through the date. From a mintage of 1.5 million coins, yet only 50 submissions are certified finer at PCGS. It was sold for $4,200. Number 2. Attractively toned 1951 D. Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 68 full bands by PCGS. Splendid olive gold and reddish-orange iridescence yields to brilliance in only a few isolated areas. Highly lustrous with fulsome mint frost, this pristine-looking superb gem really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Number 1. 1963 D. Lincoln Scent. Graded in Mint State 67 read by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS, the 1963 D. Lincoln scent is the toughest Lincoln scent from 1930 to date to find in MS-66 red condition, even tougher than the 1931 S in MS-66 red. The second toughest Lincoln scent in MS-66 red after 1930, is the 1962 D and with the 1973 S being the third toughest in MS-66 grades. Most 1963 D. Lincoln scents are found with nicks, specks, spots and scratches. They are also very weakly struck and are very dull and lackluster in their appearance. A few coins can be found with some decent luster but more than likely, the coin will be plagued by one of the other aforementioned defects. 
MS-67 specimens are rare and fetch pretty nice premiums. This superb gem was sold for $14,625 with buyer's fee. And there you have it, folks, our exploration of these 8 rare coins with the potential for a significant payday. If you found this video intriguing, don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you're ready to embark on more numismatic adventures with us. Subscribe for future coin revelations, and until our next chapter, happy collecting!